Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about a very specific wand. Uh, it is called the Bone Shade Leech Wand. The Bone Shade Leech Wand is um, a very interesting wand. Uh, it has quite a lot of effects on it, and uh, it's like uh, it's like somebody's wet dream of uh, of wands. Let's go over this wand together, and we'll talk about it together about what it could potentially be good for, and uh, what it potentially might not be good for. So we have plus two to necromancer skills on this, which is definitely nice to have, and it is static, so it does not uh, does not change for the Bone Shade Leech Wand. Uh, we also have 25% faster cast on here, which is also static, uh, which makes this a very good wand for caster type necromancers, like for instance if you're using uh, Bone Spear or Bone Spirit. Um, we have plus two to Bone Spirit, which means it has a total of plus four to Bone Spirit. Unfortunately, Bone Spirit um, varies from plus one to plus two on this wand, so you can potentially only have plus three Bone Spirit or as high as plus four. Uh, we also have Bone Spear on here, which also varies from plus two to plus three for a total of two, three, four, five to Bone Spear. Uh, we also have plus three to Bone Wall on here, which is another one that varies from plus two to plus three, uh, which is again plus two, uh, plus four or plus five. Uh, we also have plus five to Bone Armor on here, which again is uh, variable from plus four to plus five. So this uh, can be, uh, what is it, uh, five, four, five, six, so plus six or plus seven Bone Armor. And we also have plus the Teeth on here, so plus four to plus five. So a total of plus, uh, you know, seven to teeth maximum and uh, plus six minimum. Um, it's it doesn't have anything else on it though. It uh, has no mana. It has no uh, like plus to maximum mana. No mana after each kill. It has no um, like strength or dex or vitality or energy or or any other effect really whatsoever. Uh, not even like a something crazy like a chance to cast weaken when struck or something. Uh, it's it has just skills a massive number of plus the skills and it is kind of interesting because I mean it does give you uh, bone wall bone armor uh, both of which can be very useful in certain situations um, you don't, wouldn't have to actually put any points into those um, if you were specifically a bone spear or bone spirit necromancer um, you could definitely get good use out of this with the massive bonus um, that it gives you to bone spear and bone spirit um, although there is a uh, another wand that is uh, maybe just as viable if not better um, and that is the um, the white wand which can be made which with very nice effects as well um, you can obviously find a white wand with plus three to bone spear and uh, and put uh, the dole io in there to get your white wand and have some really nice effects as well um, i'm not really 100 percent sure um specific characters would want to use this over anything else i mean uh the plus to bone wall the plus to bone armor the plus to teeth um, the plus to Bone Spirit, they're nice, but they don't really have any effect on the damage output of Bone Spear. So if you were a Bone Spear Necromancer, those things are not really going to help your Bone Spear Necromancer so much. Uh, the armor is definitely nice in regards to just simply having Bone Armor. Uh, bone Armor is, of course, a physical damage absorption, and as you can see here, uh, mine is currently at um, 27, and it has a total of 1,010 with max synergies. And uh, when I put on the Bone Shade, it goes up to uh, 1,115. So about, about 100 points on the Bone Armor. Um, not exactly amazing, but, uh, but definitely useful, I suppose. Um, it does have the really cool graphic of the Arm of King Leoric. Uh, it has that same sort of like spine graphic. And I'm actually giving away one right now, believe it or not, for hitting 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a, uh, a reproduction of an arm of King Leoric. It's absolutely awesome. And I, I, I honestly cannot uh, show off a wand in the game that looks like arm of King Leoric without also showing off my arm of King Leoric. I mean, look at the two. They're, they're identical. Yes. Identical. This was, this is such a cool item. Um, this contest uh, will end um, I think it's, what is it, the 20th of uh, March, so I uh, so keep an eye on that. Um, when it comes to this wand, I feel like it really comes down to do you specifically need faster cast? And do you specifically need any of the bonus skills that it has on this list? 
If you don't need the bonus skills that it has on this list, then you're probably not going to use this wand. And the really high level requirement of level 79 on this wand kind of makes it a, uh, a prohibitive wand for any low level characters. Um, teeth is not a particularly useful ability, uh, except for in PvP, so uh, plus 5, or, or rather plus 7 to teeth is not particularly useful, um, unless you're clearing out low-level zones. Teeth can actually be pretty useful when you're clearing out low-level zones to help, like, help your friends, um, but of course you don't really need plus 7 to teeth while you're doing that. Um, bone wall and bone armor can definitely be useful, but uh, but nothing that you would uh, you know be sad if you didn't have. And it really comes down to the plus four to bone spirit, as well as the plus five to bone spear, um, if you wanted to use that for your specific uh, bone spear or bone spirit necromancer. And that's and that's really what it comes down to. This is obviously a bone mancer wand, right? So let's take a look and see where we could potentially find this bone mancer wand, and uh, and see what kind of uh, you know what kind of uh, monsters we've got to kill to get our Bone Shade, our Bone Shade, Bone Mancer, Bone Wand from Bonington Bone Land. Boney Bone Bone, it's a Boney Bone Bone, Boney Bone Bone, it's a Boney Bone Bone. Boon, boon, boon. I'm sorry, I'm 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 sorry. So let's go to 300% uh, magic find because uh, this is a relatively high level wand, and I'm going to assume that if we're farming this, we're probably high level characters. So um, we're going to go to uh, bosses first, and we're going to hit find. And as you can see, relatively small list. Um, non quest kills, we're looking at Diablo in hell, Bale in hell, uh, Mephisto in hell, and Nilathak in hell, as well as Iswal with a very small chance, and the ranked defilers in Worldstone Keep. Um, honestly, it looks like your best chance there is Diablo at Hell. Um, he's not as hard to farm as Bale is. Uh, Bale is just kind of a pain in the butt because it takes forever to uh, get past his waves. Um, Mephisto in Hell, though, is probably your best bet uh, with the lower probability, just simply because he's easier to farm for specific characters. It really depends on what character you are, though. Some characters have an easier time farming Mephisto, and some characters have an easier time farming Diablo. And, uh, and, and that's kind of what it comes down to for you. Let's take a look at Super Uniques as well, and uh, it does look like we have a relatively small list of Super Uniques. Um, looking at the list right now, Eldritch the Rectifier, uh, not bad. Uh, it's an easy to farm monster. Uh, Pindle Skin in Hell Difficulty, another easy to farm monster. Um, we also have uh, Thresh Socket, he's at the end of the same zone that uh, Eldritch is at, also very easy to farm. And um, Hephaesto the Armorer in River of Flame, he's actually pretty easy to farm. Um, could potentially farm all of those with relative ease. It does not look like Shank can drop this particular item, so uh, I don't see Shank on the list at least, unless I'm blind. So no, Shank cannot, and neither can Doc Farron, so you can pretty much avoid Doc Farron and Shank for the most part. That's, uh, that's rather interesting. Um, so you're really looking at Pindle Skin. And uh, Eldritch, Pindle Skin, Eldritch, Thresh Socket, Hephaesto. Um, you could farm those monsters and see if you can get your hands on this particular wand. Um, good luck, though, finding it in uh, good condition because it does have, obviously, quite a large number of variables. Uh, this is, in fact, a, a perfect Bone Shade, but uh, chances are the Bone Shade that you're going to find is not going to be in perfect condition. Uh, but if you do find a Bone Shade, what you're looking for specifically is the uh, Bone Spirit and the Bone Spear. You want the Bone Spear to be plus three, and you want the Bone Spirit to be plus two, because those are the real moneymaker skills on this wand anyway. The rest of it is just kind of icing on the cake. Um, the only one that I would even really care about is the Bone Armor, specifically because it's giving me a defensive mechanic of uh, physical reduction. Uh, one or two points in Bone Armor could mean the difference between, uh, you know, uh, living and dying, uh, especially if you're dealing with... Um, like a Dark Lord or something like that, those uh, those Minotaurs that come and hit you with frenzy attacks. Um, they're highly physical damage, obviously, and, uh, and Bone Armor can help protect you against those, at least for a couple of hits. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when it's about a spiny, bony uh, wand such as the, uh, the Bone Shade. Uh, this is not a Bone Shade, this is Arm King Leoric. Know your difference. Know your wands! <laughs> and as always, keep watching.